So the exhibition on second thought uh, is a collaboration between Bashuk Kitchen Berno and Gallery Yeleni. Uh, the idea here was to uh, bring something from the Bashuka Kitchen program and to present it at Gallery Yeleni. Uh, we've had a collaboration with Barbara Trinkova for many years. She's been uh, has not only shown her work within the context of Vishulka Kitchen, but also works for us uh, documenting uh, our program. And so I thought it was a good opportunity to ask Barbara to participate in an exhibition. And we decided to create a group show that would bring together several practitioners who are working in a way that I felt was uh, somehow related to Barbara's way of working, which is to use her medium and her approach, which is the idea of uh, online performativity or uh, what would be uh, kind of YouTubing um, here in this particular piece. So I think that's something that also brings together these pieces of sort of taking something that would be outside of uh, a context where you would generally encounter them, like the podcast, where you would uh, encounter that through you know, your device, um, usually listening while someone's moving through, um, through a space, uh, an urban space. or um, And so here presenting a kind of situation where the listener can, can sort of come and concentrate on that particular episode. So in the case of um, Britt Jensen, uh, I chose the podcast series, which is called The Anatomy of Fear. In the exhibition, there's one episode, which is called Less, or The Forest, um, where we're able to enter into a, a first-person perspective narrative um, where you're exploring what that, what that feeling um, of fear and that kind of escalation of that feeling of fear is. Uh, mezi stromama, kde jsou hory. In Lucia Udvardiová's work, um, here we see something that is more of an activity um, that is not so cerebral in a sense. Um, she's doing her performance more as a way to, uh, to do something that's a little less analytical as opposed to the kind of uh, work she would have to do in her journalism, for example. So kind of as a way to create a, something that the listener can enter into the experience of her layering of sound through the electroacoustic instruments that she's using for her work, many of which are sort of DIY instruments that were created for her by, by friends. So in Tatiana Hauman's piece, she's inviting the viewer to enter into the piece. Um, here we try to create a kind of um, immersive space to be able to experience the piece, which uh, is visible or is audible. So How to Hypnopomp was originally presented within the context of an online platform called Unseen. Um, here, we're taking it outside of that context and creating a kind of um, experiential installation for, ex for being able to interact with the piece. How to Hypnopo.
hello body. In Barbara Trinkova's piano types, she is taking the experience of creating a piano type and she's interpreting it into another medium, into another material. Um, here she's using the technique of creating an ASMR uh, recording and inviting the listener to experience what it is that she's experiencing during the physical um, production of a cyanotype here in this audio form. Um, so here we presented the work where uh, it kind of resonates within the space overall. Um, that's also the association with the, the lighting in the space, this kind of using this blue color it is also a nod to that kind of three-dimensional space that we encounter quite often um, in these media platforms that we're kind of always moving in and around in our everyday life, um, in this kind of merging between virtual space and real space. Um, the blue is a kind of timelessness. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a reference to this idea of the blue moment, uh, this moment at dusk or dawn, where the lighting is just that the, um, the shades and hues of things sort of come together and uh, creates a kind of um, state of suspension.